Hi everyone, this is Snula. It's been a long time since I made any videos here on YouTube and <laughs> I have a ton of different reasons. Some of them are work related, some of them are personal related, so I just hope people uh, will be happy to see another video from me. Um, I have been running this Hackintosh for over a year now and w when I made my videos I showed you how to do it and I showed you how to update to the current version at that time which was OS 10 version 10.6.2 and I had a lot of questions from people how do you upgrade and <laughs> uh, silly enough I have, s have been running 10.6.2 since then uh, main reason is that um, even with my Mac Mini, when there's uh, an update from Apple, I've learned the hard way that you should have a backup of your system before you do uh, upgrade. And since I don't run a time machine on my Hackintosh, I decided I want to make a bootable backup of my system drive before I attempt any uh, upgrades. And that has taken me a while to have the time to do it, but finally, I did it and I just finished upgrading the backup disk that has a, that is a clone of my internal disk and I worked like a charm so now I'm gonna do it with my internal hard drive and I'm gonna let uh, you guys see how it's done so what we have here is uh, my uh, old 500 gig hard drive and you see it's a GUID partition table like it should be for some reason when I did the the cloning of the, my internal drive to external drive I forgot to set it to GUID and it was in master boot record uh, like the ones you use for Windows and oddly enough it worked so but I don't know why <laughs> so anyways what we have here is my Hackintosh running version 10.62 that's quite quite old now so I'm gonna click software update and it's gonna chew a little on that and I've updated it everything else uh, iTunes yeah Java whatever but I kept away from the major upgrades to 10.63 10.64 10.65 etc um, and after I did the test now with my uh, backup part I, I see that it worked fine there was no reason to be paranoid about it but um, I've experienced myself and I see on uh, various Mac forums that people that do upgrade on their Mac sometimes encounter problems and if you don't have a backup uh, when you have that problem you're up shit creek so to speak so I always try to make a backup of my system uh, also on Windows uh, when a Service Pack 3 came out from Windows XP. I did uh, clone my uh, setup, did the upgrade, everything worked fine. But uh, if something didn't work, I would have a backup to fall back to. That's always nice to have a backup. Okay, software update is done. We're uh, checking. And you can see I have the Mac OS 10 update combined to 10.6.6 and <laughs> up till now I always unchecked it and press not now but this time we're gonna do it and I'm not sure if the recording will stop when I do so so let's see what happens uh, it asked to restart so I'll stop the recording and the next segment of the video will show me uh, when I boot it up after the update. See you then.
Hey guys, I'm back after the reboot and the sound worked uh, immediately. I'm guessing uh, the fact that QuickTime X was uh, running because of the screen recording uh, that it somehow interfered with uh, the sound kicks being uh, initiated. Uh, like I wrote uh, in, in the text utility there that when I tested this on my backup uh, hard drive uh, the instant Kex utility had uh, installed the Kexts and the repaired disk permissions the sound was back without me having the need to reboot so anyways there we have it this is how I did my software update just run it from a uh, regular software update like you would on any Mac and you will notice that you'll miss the sound it will be gone and all you need to do is reinstall the audio texts that you previously had installed so that's for uh, it for me for uh, this time and I'm not sure when I will be able to make any more videos I'm still swamped at work but uh, I'll definitely try to make a video very soon in a couple of months. I mean, uh, the last video I made was over half a year ago, and I'm not going to let it go that long between videos. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, and catch you later.